<laughs> Can you guys see me now? Or That was so weird. I went streaming live a minute ago with my regular stream key. And then I, I wasn't live, so I went and checked, and it's a different stream key now on um, YouTube. I wonder how that's possible. How would that be changed? I have, you have to manually change it yourself. And my stream key was different. So that's pretty weird, isn't it? Can you guys see me now? I mean, I was actually literally... <laughs> Uh, I was actually, I thought I was on the air for like three minutes there, four minutes, and I was talking to you guys, and um, I know then I went to the the console page, and it was it showed that I wasn't live. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this guy, just every second of every day, just, oh, God. All right. Yeah, no, you guys didn't hear me, but I went back to the console and they actually changed. I looked at the stream key and it's different than the stream key that I have um, in OBS software. So that means for some reason they changed it. I don't know why they would do that, but they definitely changed the stream key. Pretty bizarre stuff right there. Haven't had that before. No, you don't need to uh, unhide Betty Boop. She was referring to the comment that I deleted up there. <laughs> no, you, you you hid the wrong one. I got rid of the guy that was talking about smoking weed. He, he kept commenting on my videos over that over and over again. It's like, it doesn't, we don't care. Go troll somewhere else, okay, idiot? Jesus. All right, you guys made it. But I don't know what the hell's going on. They literally changed the stream key. For you guys, you think, oh, well, who cares? Who cares? It's actually kind of weird because the stream key is something that you have to manually change yourself. And then you have to move the stream key and put it into OBS. It doesn't change automatically. But I just, real I just saw that my stream key in OBS did not match the stream key in on YouTube. And that's almost an impossibility unless they changed everybody's. Ah, got one of these idiots again. Jesus. Yeah, I'll let you guys just keep getting rid of that idiot. Yes, you've got a thousand accounts, moron. Keep, keep chiming in. God, what a loser. It's like, is that all you have to do? Like, you have nothing better to do except to troll a YouTube channel. Anyways, I'm only going to be on here for like an hour, maybe, at the most. And then I'm going to... Uh, I might come back on later. But look at this damn... Uh, my camera for blue... It's like broken. Somehow it just broke. But it looks like the camera part still works, so I'm thinking I could tape it to something I don't know I don't know we'll figure it out it might not be actually broken it might have just no it looks like it's broken I see it no there isn't really we're just wondering my if... favorite YT <laughs> channel creator and freaks heart I said possible surveillance I didn't say we're gonna be looking at a guy I you know I wasn't I wasn't trying to trick anybody that's the only thing I could come up with in the title, okay? So anyways, here we go. So you guys have seen me ask a million times on the show if there are if there were surveillance cameras on this building or this building right here, okay? Well, Cairo went out there today and he filmed and walked around by the buildings and as gonna on the video it shows us where the cameras are okay hey thanks Jen B well 
That's right, I'm the goat of true crime. Whatever the hell that means. Yeah. Yeah, he's always driving around all over the place. Yeah, he, he did one of the, the, the shots over the camera sideways, though. <laughs> but it, I don't think it was a valuable one. The other ones are all portrait, which nobody else uh, does normally. They always hold it straight up and down in portrait mode instead of landscape mode, which is how all TV shows and videographers film anything. Okay, so if you're ever at an event and you're filming something, make sure you hold the camera so it's um, in landscape mode so it's you're actually having to hold on to both sides to get a, a a shot that looks like a television, not the vertical video that everybody seems to do for some reason. Okay, so here is the first video. It's at this building here. Okay, I think that's this one. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, thank you, Crystal, a.k.a. Beaver Gaming Sub Sub Crystal. Hey, come on, video, why aren't you playing? Gray is awesome. Love all of the freaks. Okay, so just left of here down there is the CPS building. I think. Yeah, like the CPS building where it used to be is, I think that's even it right there. Uh, so if you were looking at this... Um, Hold on. Jesus. What's going on with this? <laughs> Doesn't even have a... Look at that. This weird thing. You can't actually move over. There it is. So he's standing in that shot right here. And you can see the... This building isn't there anymore. And you can see this portion of the CPS building. Now, the car was said to have been parked near the CPS building. On the road, though. So it could have been right here, could have been right there. We don't know, okay? Uh, could it could even be here or over here. They're just using that as a reference point. The old, the abandoned old CPS building, okay? So here is that video right there. Oh, God. It's hard to move this thing. There it is. I don't even know. I'm not even on the right one now because it... Closed out. Hold on one second. Thanks, Barbara Smith. And you can hear uh, Cairo breathing Ray, through his he nose because he's got true crime channel on maybe a cold. Right now. Okay, so that's not a camera. That's not a ca camera. Hey, thanks. Cozy Paws 73. Love you, Gray. Smiling face with three hearts. Smiling face with three hearts. Smiling face with three hearts. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and block somebody like that when they make those comments. Yeah, keep going. Get, do all 38 of them, idiot. Nobody cares. It's hilarious. Yeah, like anybody out there that actually, well, I'm not even going to say what I was going to say. So anyways, if you look at this uh, sir, this footage that Cairo took right here, uh, I think it was back there, you can see the a camera right there, okay? That's a legitimate camera right there. These other things that you see like this, uh, and the, those aren't cameras. Okay, so the only surveillance camera on this building is at the end, but it's pointing back towards the CPS building a little bit, right? So if you were to... Chipping in for new blue cam. Grinning face with big eyes. So if you were taking a look at this right here. Hey, thanks, Wombat Dundee. And thank you to Cozy Pond 73 So if you're right here, and what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of that really quick. And that camera looks like it's pointing about like like this, okay? 
So it's pointing about like this, and there's the CPS building. Uh, so since it's pointing that way, and they're pretty wide angle lenses, almost all security cameras are really wide angle. So you could probably say that this would be filming about like this and like this, you know, maybe about like this. So it probably covered that much area. So is it possible that this is a camera that law enforcement used to maybe notice that there was a vehicle right there? Either they saw it right there or they saw it pull away. Here's what might be what they did. This camera here filmed a car driving by, okay? And now just kind of keep that in mind. And then let's go over to the other building over here. So Cairo was all over the place. He went to this building. All right, and I'm just gonna skip to that one. So he's walking in there. And, and again, like these things, I guess on, on this building, that's a camera. These are cameras, these white things right there. So if you spin around right there, you see a camera there. And then that one's filming the steps of the door right there. But it does pick up a little bit if we get out to there. All right, now if you go around the front of the building, and that's 300 right there. To the left down there is the parking area. So just, just to give you the orientation again, right now in this video, that garage door is on the front of this building right there. And then the parking area where Abby and Libby were dropped off is right here. So it's right here, that's the parking area. So it's not too far away from there. So uh, that camera, however, looks I'm like it's so a little better angle. to see this, Hot. Yeah, so given that the wide angle lenses, like I have a camera that at my house it looks kind of it's kind of like that where it aims down but it still picks up everything up high so this camera literally i mean if we zoom in on it let me let me uh i'm not even gonna zoom in i'm just gonna take this new blue cam i think it's kind of interesting that nobody else has done this like there's all these people that have gone out there a thousand times but nobody's ever walked around even though i've mentioned it also on shows, right? They haven't gone out and had a show where they showed you where the surveillance cameras were. It's weird. YouTube chat is down. It is? What do you mean the YouTube chat is down? Aren't you guys talking right now? Hey, thanks. Carol, look at the flowers. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you guys are all typing, so how could it be down? I, I don't get it. I see what you're saying. Yeah, so you could literally get coverage this high up on that camera. And then also you would get all the way down like this. And actually, that could even be higher. It's basically anything that you can see in dark there, you can go out from. So you could even have something more like high like that. That's the thing. But it's more angled down so that it can capture somebody coming in. So knowing that, now let's go back to the, his video again. And then look at that. You see 300, right? That's the so like he's, he's in the driveway, right? Now he's about even with the garage door, okay? So right there at the end of this building to the left is that garage door with the camera on it. So about right there he's even with it. So if there was somebody walking by right there, they might get picked up by that camera. It, de it depends, though, if it's a, uh, a camera that continually films. If it's motion activated, it might be tough for him to have walked by and picked that up. Yeah, let me let me see what's going on over on the. Uh, well, it looks like the stream health is high. I mean, it's green, and there's 305 people watching.
Yeah, you should see some of these trees that I was seeing today. So later this evening, I'm going to go live again at about 8.15 or so um, to go over a couple cases. I actually drove out in the, you know, the Carissa Fretwell case. I drove all the way up to a spot that uh, Woods Girl was talking about that somebody in law enforcement had told her. So I drove up to the one-and-a-half-mile mark past a, uh, what was it, a gate, a uh, warehouser gate. And then apparently, like in that area, 800 feet down a hill is where they found her body and her son's body. But you would have probably had to have to have gone down further down, up the road to maybe like 1.75 miles. And then you take a left, and then it kind of winds down below, and then you're able to just dump bodies under there. So you guys remember the Chris of Fretwell case was the one in Salem, Oregon, where the... She was pregnant with a different man, a man who was married, and she was just going to take care of the kid. But then later, she came on high, hard time, so the the system made her uh, made him get checked, and then all of a sudden he had to pay like nine hundred dollars a month child support. And then his way out was to kill her and the child. Are you guys, is it still glitchy? Are you still around? Anybody there? Anybody there at all? Huh. Yeah, something's going on with uh, YouTube. That's for damn sure. Let me, uh, I'm going to re... Okay, so it looks like it's, I had to just refresh it. So you guys are all, chat's working fine now, right? Okay, good. All right. So anyways, uh, I drove up there, and it's, you can just tell how it's pretty creepy up there. Just driving around, it's pretty creepy. Testing. <laughs> I don't know. I, you guys are probably still watching me, but the, there's nothing going on in the chat. So it makes me nervous. To, oh, now it's all coming back. Wow, it's like laggy. Jeez, it all comes in after like a minute. It all just comes soaring in. That's some weird shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely, I might be able to do something with this camera because it still works, the camera. It's just the clamp part broke. I wonder if I slammed it in the drawer that it's over. Oops. Okay, so uh, I'm going to come on later. I'm going to show you guys that drive up there uh, in the Chris of Fretwell case. Um, and then I'm going to go over this other case. There was a caller that called in on one of our shows. And, and can you guys do this for me? If you guys have better memory for some of this than I do. Do you guys remember the live we did? It wasn't too long ago where people call in, right? There was one where a lady called in about a, an Amtrak train station. Remember that? And if you can find that one and tell me which, you know, where it is in the episode, I would appreciate it. Because I'd like to play that again. Yeah, it's like you guys are typing and then nothing comes in and all of a sudden it goes. <laughs> yeah, I might be able to do duct tape. You never know. Hey, thanks, Will Good. You know what's weird is the normally when somebody donates, it's halfway up the page of chats before the stream labs, but now stream labs is first. Yeah, it's weird, but. Okay, I'm going to get back to this. So right now, here's a theory that I, I have right here. So here's a camera filming out to 300, and I think it would cover, it actually would get about this high or even, you know, about like this, uh, and way down here just based on the angle that the camera's at. 
So if I was to turn around, let's see if I can do that again. So right there, I think that it would still film a quite high, almost straight out from there. So if somebody did set off a motion sensor, it could have picked them up. So what if it was something like this? Let's say the the uh, you know the bridge guy that everybody calls him. Call, I call him the suspect most of the time. After the killing, he comes up here, maybe through here, and then maybe walks along like this, but then comes out here somewhere, maybe, or you know even in this area, perhaps. And then he's walking, and then he gets picked up on a camera, but it's really far away from there, so it's not clear. I don't know though. I'm just making. I'm just throwing this out as a guess. It could purely only be this other camera over there. But let's say he did walk by right there. And then you don't see him much, but he's really small in the, and it's gonna be grainy. And, and, he, and then, based on the timing of him walking there, this camera, which would have an angle like this that I was saying, it sees a car drive by right then. So it's, okay, they're having him walk. You know, you might even get somebody out there to do the walk themselves and say, okay, that would be about three minutes later. And then all of a sudden this car drives by. And then they say, hmm. So that maybe that car is associated with that person. And now they, they might even know what type of car it is, but they just want somebody who knows who the owner of that vehicle is. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it would be kind of a. I mean, it's far away. That's what I'm saying in that shot. But I think this wouldn't be a miracle for this camera to pick up a car driving by. You know, and they, I think they think that it was parked there. You know, they do say between twelve and five, but I think they're just giving a general time frame. They're not really. They're not trying to narrow like if they said, hey, if you saw a car parked there between 1247 and 348, uh, you know, then everybody, whoa, why are you saying that? So they're just giving a general time frame. I mean, does anybody really think at exactly five o'clock he drove away and at exactly noon he showed up? Go Warriors. What does Warriors have to do with anything we're talking about? Jesus, man, weird. You're not even a basketball fan. Uh, let's see. Here is the comment that uh, I think I have the one Carter made. I can't remember now. We're seeking the public's help to identify the driver. We're seeking the public's help to identify the driver of a vehicle that was parked at the old CPS DCS welfare building next to the Hoosier Heartland Highway between the hours of noon to five on February 14th, 2017. If you were parked there or know who was parked there, please contact the officers at the command post at the Delphi City Building. We're seeking the public's. Yeah. So there you go. So somehow they know that there was a car parked there. I doubt it was purely based on witnesses saying they saw a car there. Okay? I think there's other factors involved. Now, he also drove by and looked at these homes there, but it didn't appear that they had surveillance cameras pointing out. However, if a home here had surveillance cameras on them, I would assume, uh, you know, it's just an assumption and there's no way you would know but you would think that they had put those cameras on after what happened to Abby and Libby. Okay, that's what I would think. And so the thing is, is if I like if I lived there, I would definitely be putting cameras up right after that event. However, a business doesn't think like that. You know, they're not. Nobody robbed them. So those cameras that are on those businesses have probably been there. And 
have been there for a while prior. I don't think that something new. Now, it's, it could be. However, I think it's more likely for a house to put new cameras on. Yeah. Let's see. Well, this one right here is... I don't know if... You know, here's, here's what makes a difference. If they're motion activated, it makes it tougher. If they're just on, it wouldn't matter what the distance is. Okay? But uh, I'll just do the distance. And so from that camera to the road, I'm not going to go to the CPS building. Yeah, to, to here, it's about 100 yards, and then, you know, so that, well, yeah, 300 feet, and then right there, it's 434 feet. So that might be where there's a problem. Like, let's say it's on the whole time, and then the car drives by. You might not actually get to see any detail or anything, but you can just kind of see that a car drove by at that point. This one over here... Yeah, it's a little bit closer though, like quite a bit. So if I was going to say, let's say that there was a camera on the end, there there is a camera there, and it filmed this road. The distance is very, you know, it's quite a bit shorter than what we just saw from the other building. Yeah, 100 feet, right there. So 33 yards, not far at all. 100 feet is nothing. Okay, so if you have, like for example, the bridge guy is 60 something feet from the camera in the shot that you see of him on the bridge. So if there was a car, another 40 feet behind him, it'd be really easy to see, right? Okay. No, not 100 meters, 100 feet. Oh, I thought you were talking about the other one. Yeah, 100 meters on the first one, 330 feet or so. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with all the buffering. I think YouTube did say, hey, if your subscriber count drops dramatically, we're getting rid of uh, counts, accounts again. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. So I don't know what they're doing, what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> I have no clue why the stream isn't as smooth. Let's see. There was also a an article that came out today. Hey, thanks, Cairo. Right. Watch. How much you want to bet? Greeno is going to go out to the that same I can't wait to see the building and say, camera hmm. angle vids that everyone will make in a few." Yeah, exactly. Day's winking face. <laughs> hey, Cairo, I already thought that. So, But now that you brought it up, I, I, I'll agree with you. I guarantee it, Harvey and Greeno will look at it and say, Well, uh, I tell you, the angle of the camera there, it, uh, it wouldn't quite uh, hit this. And if you look at this and that and the other thing. Yeah, okay. Well, it's. I'm just saying, if they're wide-angle camera lenses... It's very possible it could have filmed that street right there. And if he happened to walk by right there, then they might have seen him walking by and they haven't released that yet. And they might not ever release it because the other one is just better footage of him. You know, you're, you're 100 feet now. And uh, it's a little bit even, you know, behind the trees, so it's probably got a little darkness to it. There's no clear backdrop. So it might have been even tougher, okay? So it's possible that he, he was captured there, and then this one here would have filmed, if it's a 24-7 video camera that it just keeps filming and filming and filming, any car driving by right there would have been on it. Now, if it's a motion-activated camera, which a lot of cameras are, it might have been tough to pick up a car 100 yards away moving. I'm not saying it's impossible, uh, but it it might might have and it might not have. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you think that sounded just like him? I don't know. 
Yeah, who knows? Who cares? I haven't been following the, any of those guys. It's just it's just turned into just a, you know, every day the same thing over and over again. So what I'm trying to do now is just sort of figure out, just based on things that are knowable, why they believe that there was a vehicle parked there. You've got a camera here and you've got a camera there. Okay, both this camera films this street, 300. This camera also picks up part of 300 right there. Okay, so you might think that one of those cameras perhaps picked up a vehicle and or even the suspect walking but from a great distance. But it just seemed, you know, the blue jacket, the jeans, you can make stuff like that out. And it was still day light, although, you know, when you're going around 345, 4 o'clock, it's getting kind of dark that time of year. Yeah, the CPS was a fan. Yeah. And there was an article that came out today that I think uh, Truth Sleuth just posted a second ago, so let me... get that one six months after new sketch release of Delphi murder suspect it's been six months since a shocking update in the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German Indiana State Police that's, that's crazy it's already been six months Indiana State Police released a new sketch of their suspect in April since then investigators said they have received roughly 3,000 additional tips I really hoped we would have it wrapped up by July. We would have had it wrapped up by July. I mean, we all just hope this is, this is it. This is the home stretch today. Is the day anytime now is still, God, they didn't put any commas in there at all. Look at that. I mean, we all just hope this is it. This is the home stretch. Today is the day to anytime now, and it's still coming, said Anna Williams, mother of Abby. Anna said she was shocked when she heard about ISP's new direction in the case. And really, the only thing she was, would have been shocked about would have been the new sketch because she had seen the video already. And, um, you know, the CPS building isn't shocking. Oh, a car at the CPS building. That's not a shocking thing. So I don't think Anna Williams was... Uh, the only thing that was shocking, I think it was shocking to everybody, was to see the absolutely different look of the sketch you had a first guy that looked like somebody out of deliverance and the second one looked like tom cruise okay i don't think you could have you know i don't know if he really looked like tom cruise or not but uh, you know somebody like that all right it just was so opposite and then uh, carter said later hey i think it's a mix between the two and what's funny is uh, Garrett Kurtz does look like a mix between the two, right? That's, an, that's my opinion. I'm not saying any, I don't even, <laughs> what's weird about it is that they said that the, this, the new sketch is who we are looking for. But then later, well, it's kind of a combination of the two. Right, so I don't, I don't even know if Garrett Kurtz has a good chance of being the guy either. I, I do think it's interesting that he has the connection to Ron Logan's property proof-wise by the horses. We still don't have any actual person. If Ron Logan said, yes, Garrett Kurtz came to my property all the time, I then would believe that. But absent that, we only have the horse types that are absolutely the same images that Garrett Kurtz has on his YouTube or Facebook page and those are the same horses in the background on Ron Logan's property okay that's an absolute certainty that those are the same horses so that makes it interesting that he a, a, a guy that's known to be a murderer is that close to another place where two other women or girls were killed? Excuse me. So that makes him interesting. But what are the likelihood of it? I don't know. Could be pretty low. No, you're not black. 
you're not blocked Janet Lewis you wouldn't be able to type and if you were blocked nobody would have been able to answer your question you get it yeah I don't know. I don't know anything about that stuff. I know one. Make, I've heard that uh, the girlfriend lived in Delphi sometimes. I don't know. Uh, as a matter of fact, I wasn't even interested in Kurtz at all until I said, "Listen, if somebody has any real information, send it to me." And then it took somebody from New Zealand to actually make the connection of the horses. Okay. And she sent that to me. She just said, "Hey, what about these? These look kind of similar." So I sat there for over an hour and kept looking at every little dot, lining them up, and definitely was the same one. And that, that's the only connection there is. So Anna Williams said she was shocked when she heard about ISP's new direction in the case. In April, investigators also released video and extended audio clip of that accused killer. Um, and this is CBS 4, by the way, in Indianapolis. Man, this is such poor writing, though. What, what's going on here? So release video and an, and an extended audio clip of that accused killer. Detective, detectives believe that they are looking for someone who lives in Delphi or used to live in the city. It seems so far-fetched, but it has always gone back to this is closer to home than any of us ever cared for she said we are hoping we have this solved we are still working to try to solve it i can't say we are discouraged but they are still working hard at it said sergeant kim riley with indiana state police sergeant riley said some tips have been about a car found abandoned near the trail now yeah see that's this right here this is an article that's perpetuating the misstatement by carter and that's why i edited what carter said i took out the part about with the word abandoned in it because that was throwing everybody off he already said later oh yay i didn't mean that hey thanks Asunta Madani, or what is it, Madani. <laughs> okay, so right here, look at this article. Look how it's saying. Sergeant Riley said some tips have been about a car found abandoned near the trails on the day the girls went missing. No, that's not what he said. So now I'm going to go back to how I edited it in just a second here. Say, so listen to this. We're seeking the public's help to identify the driver of a vehicle that was parked at the old CPS DCS welfare building next to the Hoosier Heartland Highway between the hours of noon to five on February 14th, 2017. Yeah. See, originally he said uh, abandoned vehicle. Okay, so I, I got rid of it. and Because he already said that that isn't what he said. I think it's irresponsible to play it again without editing it. Because every time you play it again... Some conspiracy whack job out there has to, will say, oh, look, he said abandoned vehicle. Whoa. Man, they must have towed it away then. That's just not true. He already corrected it. He, and it was corrected. I actually, here's what I did. I sent Carter an email. I said, hey, what's going on? Uh, why did you say that? And then he instructed Jerry Holman to get back to me because I was wondering I sent it to Carter and then Holman responded and he gave me the answer all right let me see if I can actually find the quote hold on a second it's so quiet I gotta, I gotta get the music playing again <laughs> I feel strange when there's no music Oh, boy. Well, it doesn't look like I can even open that. So why wasn't that working earlier? Well, maybe it's because there's video open at the same time.
Yes, I'm still here, everybody. I am still here. There we go. Yeah! Yee! Something playing, for God's sakes. been before that. Oh. Okay. So I sent Carter an email and then Jerry Holman responded with we do not discuss the details of any on any of our ongoing investigations. To include who is or isn't a person of interest. As for the vehicle, we are looking for anyone who knows whose vehicle was parked at the abandoned building. The second sketch is the most accurate sketch and is who we are concentrating our efforts on at this time. Sorry for any confusion. Okay, because what I asked was. Um, Ah, now it's too loud, my music. So what I asked Carter was, why did you, then, in subsequent interviews, after you said you were focusing in on the new sketch, you, you then say it's a mix between the two? And then I also said, and you also said it was an abandoned vehicle. Did you mean the abandoned CPS building? And then I might have mentioned something else. I don't know what else I mentioned to him. But uh, in that context... He said, uh, the, the second sketch is the most accurate sketch and is who we are concentrating our efforts on at this time. And also, the previous sentence was, as far as the vehicle, we are looking for anyone who knows whose vehicle was parked at the abandoned building. Okay, so there you go. That cleared it up a second time. But even after it was cleared up the second time, uh, people out there, as, as well as articles, obviously, say the same damn thing over and over and over again. Thanksgiving is coming, and family will all get together again, and I would like to be thankful this is over and thank whoever it is that finally stepped up and did the right thing, said Anna. Yeah, well, hopefully it gets solved soon. This is an article from today, so. They, they went out and perpetuated the myth that it was an abandoned vehicle. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's possible that one of these two buildings here, this is something that I wanted uh cairo was saying he was going to be going there for a while and he finally was able to get in there and he filmed this but don't you think it's a possibility that one that some of that intelligence that they're using is based on something that one of those two cameras picked up i think it's possible and i'm not saying it is what happened or anything like that just giving something to think about because i think it's interesting all right, but I, I'm not coming up with, oh, look, there's a van underneath the uh, bridge. It has no roof on it. It's actually perpendicular to the camera, amazingly, even though it's the camera's at a 45-degree angle. Well, you probably have to go back and re-watch it, Ivy. I didn't think my title was too, like, you know, <laughs> sensationalistic or anything. It, it just says... Possible surveillance camera in the Delphi case. Doesn't that sound pretty generic? And Thanks, Sean Beecham. It wasn't like I said, Boom! Surveillance camera bus bridge guy! 
Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I said that. Uh, go Me read it again. Husky were few. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Sean Beecham. So, anyways, I appreciate it. I'm going to come back on at about 8.15 or 8.30 uh, to cover some other case uh, cases out there. Uh, one of them was related to, I don't know if you guys could hear me, but do you think any of you guys remember, remember the live shows that we do where people call in and tell their true crime stories? Well, one of them called about an Amtrak train station in, I think it was in... I can't remember what state that was in, but if you remember that, uh, c could you tr tell me where it is in the videos? I don't know if it's hard to do or it might be kind of difficult. I think it's it's in uh, Illinois, and I remember having it on the screen. Now it's in Illinois. Well, it was the, well, it's just, no, it's just somebody called in about it. Okay, so I think they had a, a personal experience related to it. So I want to find that story to be able to play it. So it's on one of the shows that I've done that, that where people call in and tell their own true crime stories within the last month, probably. All right. So if you have a ability to go on there and try to kind of skip through it, to listen to just little portions of each of the callers and then send me the uh, the video URL, I would appreciate it. All right. So thank you. Well, that's all I got for you guys. Sorry that uh, blue is... Um, what happens if I film the screen? So this is what my screen looks like, everybody. You guys don't really see it, but look. So I got a monitor there, a monitor there, and a monitor there. This is the camera that's filming me right now. Okay, uh, this is my keyboard here. It looks like something out of off of NASA. Uh, one of the speakers, another one over there. I got my this book right here that costs like $180 called Practical Homicide Investigation by Vernon J. Uh, Geberth. You know, so anyways, there you go. That little uh, mini tour of my my videos, <laughs> my cameras and everything. Yeah. Mwah! See, the green screen doesn't work on that one. Wow, and you, and you also thought that that smiley face was real, too? Weird. That is weird. No, don't. No pizzas. No pizzas. All right. Okay, everybody. Thanks for showing up. And, oh, let me. Hold on a second. I did get a bunch of. Uh, thank you to Jen B. Crystal, a.k.a. Beaver Gaming Sub, Sub Crystal. The longest name in YouTube history. Barbara Smith. Cozy Paws 73, Wombat Dundee, Boggle Queen, Barbara Smith again, Carol, Look at the Flowers, <laughs> Will Good, and Cairo. And then, oh, there's more. Uh, Asunta Madoni and Sean Beecham. So thank you guys very much, and we will see you guys, uh, I don't know, probably around 8.30 or so. All right, so until next time, everybody. Be safe out there.